Okay, so the first step to setting up the emulator DVS will be to get the stand all set up. Um, so what you're going to want to do is open up uh, the side legs. There's actually a foot that swings out and then the arm swings out as well. So get that set up, get that off to the side, do the same with the other one. Okay. And when you set this up, you want to make sure that the part that holds the screen is uh, on the inside and not on the outside. So we'll get these ready here. Get your crossbar. There's actually a, a little screw tab on the front of the stand. That's going to release it so that you can pull this out. And there's a, a button here. And you want to bring this up as high as it will go. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of these side screws, put it in through the bottom hole. Um, if you have a big 46 inch screen, you're going to want to do this on uh, the lower level here. If you have a 32 inch screen, um, you're going to want to put your crossbar up at the top here, six inches higher. So, we're going to put this crossbar in place on the one side here, and it just screws into place. Then you're going to want to grab the other side, release the screw there, and bring this up all the way as well. Okay. Grab your second side screw. And just attach it to the crossbar. Then you'll notice there's also some screws on the bottom here. This will release the stand to expand to fit the bigger screen. So you just want to actually pull it out about an arm's length and then what you're going to want to do is sit your screen on top and then you can uh, just adjust the width of the stand once you have the screen in place. Now that you have your uh, stand set up, you're going to mount your emulator screen on top of it. This is very easy. Just unbox the screen and rest it in the holders. And it's very important, once again, that the holders are on the inside of the stand and not on the outside. Once you have the screen in place, you can actually just use your feet and your hands to spread out the stand so that it's flush with the screen. Then you're going to mount the projector shelf and that goes in the front of the stand and if you notice there's um, two hooks on this shelf. There's a bigger one and a smaller one and of course the smaller one fits on the small cross piece and the big one fits on the bigger one. Okay so now that we have the screen on our stand we're going to wire it all up. Um, you get a power supply and a USB cable with the screen. Very easy. The power supply just plugs into there. And the USB cable plugs into there. That's that for the screen. Next, we're going to set up the projector. You get a VGA cable and the power cable. And the projector just rests on the tray here. Plug the power cable in, like so, and the VGA cable, like
like so. Now you're ready to plug everything into the computer. The next step is to plug your touchscreen into the computer. Um, you're of course going to need the Mac to VGA adapter. Plug that in. Get your VGA cable from the projector. Plug it into your adapter. And the USB cable from the touchscreen into the USB port of your computer. Alright, so the next step is to turn on your projector. There's a power button right on top of the projector. Turn that on and if you don't get a video feed to your projector right away, just pull on this little adapter, plug it back into the computer and that will reset the video feed. It's going to find its source. Once that comes up, what I do is I'll open up a folder in full window mode just to make sure that I have the full window open on the projector and that makes it a lot easier to center your image. Next you'll want to actually focus the image and there's a little focus wheel right on top of the projector. There, now we have it in focus. Okay, you will also want to make sure that you are in 16 by 9. That's found under the display settings, format, and just make sure that you're not in 4x3 or 16x10 or anything else. You want to be in 16x9. You might also need to shrink the image a little bit or make it bigger. That's done with either the overscan option or it might be labeled as zoom. You will also want to keystone your image and you can just simply do that by pressing on the up and down arrows of the projector. Then to level the image or center the image of the projector you will need to move these little feet up and down and there's three of them two on either side and one on the front of the projector. And just center it as best as you can by moving either of the feet. Once the image appears to be centered, you can zoom it in and make it bigger. One more keystone adjustment. You only have to do this the first time that you start this. Once you've done this, it's a setting that is always done from this point on. And when you have the image centered, the last step will be to flip the projection mode, which is found in setup, projection. And if you just move one to the right, it will switch from rear projection, sorry, from front projection to rear projection.